almost turkey time and I'm going to show you how to prepare a turkey for roasting in the oven today. You need to get it defrosted and you need to allow 24 hours for every five pounds. It comes with the drumsticks attached here. So I'm going to take that off. Sometimes there's a metal hook. I'm going to take that off and rinse this several times, which I've done, but you need each cavity. Rinse thoroughly. There are two sets of giblets that you need to take out. This is the breast cavity. Here was one that I already took out. A lot of times they're in plastic instead of paper. And then you need to turn around the other way. And the, the neck is also in one of them. And to pack this dry, you can either use paper towels, make sure none of the towels stick to it. And you want to dry it thoroughly inside and out. And so inside just means you're going to get those cavities dry. When you put the seasoning in there, you want it to stick to it, so you don't want it slippery. I'm going to flip this over and get the bottom part as well. The next thing I'm going to do is to salt and pepper this. I'm going to season it in some way. A lot of people just salt and pepper. I'm going to go ahead and put my salt and pepper right into the oil. And I like to put poultry seasoning and thyme. I just go ahead and do it by hand. I rub it inside the cavities as well. It's not only going to give a good flavor, it's really going to smell good when your guests are walking through the door and they're really hungry. In the cavities, we're going to add some vegetables. Carrots, celery, and you just need to cut them up enough that they're gonna fit in there. Onion, I've cut into pieces. I'm going to hook these legs back in place. You want to tent aluminum foil over here. Roasting is a dry heat method. You don't want to push it against the turkey or you're going to be steaming it, which is what it's not like. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to tent it there so the air can circulate. It'll be heavy. You're going to bake it according to the chart. This calls for three hours for a 12 pound turkey. You want to allow this to cook covered for two hours, because it's a three hour time. The last hour, take off your foil, bring it out, put some more olive oil or butter. I wouldn't use my hands this time, I would brush it on or smooth it on with a spoon possibly. And then kind of keep an eye on the browning. If it starts getting too brown that last hour you're cooking, then cover it back up, or if those wings start to cook too much, you can cover those with foil as well. When it's done, you can check it with a meat thermometer. You want to insert the meat thermometer into the thickest part of the thigh, it would need to be 180 degrees, or in the breast, 170 degrees. Tent it with foil again, allow it to sit 15 to 20 minutes before you carve. If you happen to have a dry turkey, you won't. But if you do, you can always cheat after it's carved on the platter and put some broth or gravy over top of it. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Bon appetit.